I don't care if I sound like a broken record here, 2020 is an awesome year to buy a new TV. Despite the fact that 2020 sucks for just about everything else, you can get some amazing picture quality for not a lot of money. But even though that mid-tier is looking really attractive this year, you can get a little bit more if you spend a little bit more. Some TVs just rise to the top. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison and we're gonna run down my list of the best TVs you can buy in 2020. We've tested a bunch of them. These are my absolute favorites. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into it and we're gonna start with Hisense. I'm talking about the Hisense H9G Quantum. If I was gonna give this TV some sort of clever name, I'd call it the Overachiever. At under $1,000 for the 65 inch model, this TV is one of the blackest and brightest TVs that you can buy this year. If there's any downside, it's that it doesn't do color exactly accurate, but I don't think most folks are super sensitive to that. Fact of the matter is, if you want a TV that has a ton of pop and looks especially good for HDR, certainly gonna have no problem competing with bright light coming into your room, the Hisense H9G is the one to go for. As a bonus, you get a really good experience with Android TV. Chromecast is built right in. Google Assistant is there as well. It does all the different HDR modes. It's just a wonderful buy for under a thousand bucks. Next on the list is the TCL 6 series or R635 at the 55 inch variant. Priced under 700 bucks, this TV offers some amazing technology built in, including mini LED backlights. That means that the backlights in this TV are super tiny and there's tens of thousands of them, which gives it really great control over the image. Specifically, it controls black levels very well. You get very bright, punchy HDR objects on those black backgrounds without a bunch of halo. The color accuracy is very respectable. And then of course there's Roku TV OS, which is very simple and approachable to use. Put all that together and there's no doubt that this is one of the best budget options on the market today without sacrificing picture quality. And since we're talking about the TCL 6 series, let's talk about the 65 inch model, which comes in under $1,000 and is an amazing performer. Basically everything that there is to love about the 55 inch model, you get more of with the 65 inch model. And what I've noticed is with more mini LED backlights and even more dimming zones, the performance of this TV is just a little bit better than the 55 inch version. That normally isn't the case, but that's what I'm witnessing here. This TCL 6 series at the 65 inch level is like the smartest buy that you can make in TV this year. Seriously, the smartest move. Up next is what I'm calling the sleeper hit of the year, and that would be the Sony X900H. I didn't see this TV coming in as hot as it did, but it performs extremely well. If you're a movie lover who also likes to game, you wanna pay attention to this particular TV, because not only does it have a very cinematic look, especially for an LED LCD TV, but it's also getting an upgrade later this year so that it'll play nice with the Sony PS5. That particular next-gen gaming console is gonna to want to be able to send variable refresh rate signals to the television, along with 4K and HDR capabilities. And really, this is the only TV in Sony's lineup outside of some of its super fancy models that is gonna support that capability. So if you're a movie lover that loves cinematic picture quality, but you also like to game and you're thinking about getting that PS5, the Sony X900H is unique in that it's one of the only TVs that tick all of those boxes. While we're talking about Sony and cinematic picture quality, we have to put the Sony A8H OLED on this list. In terms of pure picture quality, it's my favorite TV this year. The only reason I'm not calling it the best TV of the year is because it doesn't have any of those gaming features that we're hearing a lot of people want to have in their 2020 TV. Again, with the next gen gaming consoles coming out, that's more of a factor now than it ever has been before. Still, for the best possible picture quality, and really, it's absolutely astounding. Also, it sounds really good. This is the TV that has the transducers on the screen, so the screen is actually making the sound, and it's really powerful. In fact, I think you could get away with not getting a soundbar with this television. So again, if you're a video file that loves cinematic picture quality, and you want the bonus of having a great sounding TV, the Sony A8H is excellent. 
The next category here is attainable 8K, and the only TV I can really recommend for that is the Samsung Q800T. A lot of the features that we saw in Samsung's 4K flagship last year have been moved up to the Q800T, which is sort of their entry-level 8K TV. Now, there's no denying that 8K resolution is still very ahead of its time. There are no real sources of 8K content right now, but fortunately, Samsung's processing does a great job of taking 1080p and 4K signals and boosting them up to 8K resolution. Plus, this TV is also a bright, shining star when it comes to HDR performance. Add to that as well that this TV does have one HDMI 2.1 port, so it will support high-end gaming. Plus, Plus, I love the One Connect box. That's the box where you plug everything in and then a virtually invisible cable goes up to the TV. It's one of Samsung's features that I've always liked, but if you want it, you gotta get the Q800T. So again, if you're an early adopter, you love being ahead of the curve, check out the Samsung Q800T. Now, rounding out our list, the best TV that you can buy in 2020, according to me, is the LG C10 OLED. Pick the 55 inch, pick the 65 inch, shoot, go for the little 48 inch if you prefer. The C10 OLED from LG this year is the most advanced TV that I've seen, and it's got astounding picture quality. LG's been at this OLED game longer than anyone else, and they've really perfected their craft. The picture quality, again, is outstanding. LG likes to push the HDR highlights on the C10, a little bit more than the Sony A8H that I mentioned before. It also tends to prefer deep blacks over shadow detail in some considerations. That's why I said the Sony A8H I think has like the absolute best picture quality, but the C10 is by no means any slouch. It still tops all the other TVs on our list. And like I said before, gaming, super critical. LG is the only manufacturer out there putting four HDMI 2.1 ports in its TVs. It supports 4K HDR gaming, up to 120 FPS with variable refresh rate and a bunch of other gaming friendly features that you're just not seeing from the competition. This being the most advanced TV, along with having outstanding picture quality, made it a pretty easy pick as best TV of the year. Thanks as always everyone for watching. I really enjoyed putting this list together, although I'm sure some of you may have feelings about it. What TV do you think should have been on this list that wasn't? Leave a comment for me and we'll talk about it. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.